sky and there's you know there's lots of blue sky and and there's um, the, you know it's a very pretty and sort of, but i thought i would just jazz up the the uh, finished painting change the time of day slightly i just want to bring the sort of evening into the situation uh, can i stand here and talk at the same time I see. okay so i mean you know it's 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 very nice it's very sort of jigsaw puzzle coverish and uh, uh, it, I, I like this bit of dappled light that we've got here um, and, uh, you know, it's a pretty simple blue sky, but I want to turn the time of day into the evening where the light is changing and it gets a bit more dramatic. So that's what I'm going to do for you as the demo. Thank you, Tony, and we will get back to you in a second. Yeah. Uh, hello, hello, everyone. I'm Dasha Jennison, and uh, if you noticed, maybe um, I already started recording our today's session, and uh, we have very special guest, uh, Tony Alain, who will uh, do a wonderful demo for you, so I hope you all hang out. Um, today, uh, we were planning to share some amazing membership news um, and Mary prepared very detailed report and I thought it will be not fair if I would rub her wet and will not let her present it to you so we will have to meet next time again and uh, she will present this membership report to you but um, let me send you greetings from here so mary says hi to everybody and she wants to um, let me know and all of you know and hopefully we have some platinum members watching us live or recorded what uh, we are very grateful for you you guys supporting uh as well as regular members too, but Platinum especially um, supporting our society and help us to bring different programs to you. Um, our newest, newest Platinum members for 2023, Molly Cooley, uh, Patricia Mataya, Jane Robbins, and Mary Beth Staben. I hope I didn't chop your name really bad, but thank you, thank you so much for being our members. That's a note from Mary, and I will just say in my own words what we were able to accomplish in case you're wondering, like, is my membership up? Uh, when would I need to renew? All kinds of bad good stuff. Or if you're trying to um, not use uh, PayPal, uh, we were able to connect Apple Pay and regular credit card processing to our website. So that allowed us to do subscriptions also. Um, you can join for one time now or set up renewal. But more of that on next meeting, I will not keep you long on that. Just if you're playing on a website, that's one of the options what we added. And um, right now, um, what we... Uh, working on it's our upcoming orange exhibition what is coming to las vegas in october and uh, it's a very beautiful show uh, we have about 60 artists participating with over uh 65 pieces and uh, in new location in downtown las vegas so if you're planning maybe a trip to las vegas and um, want to come uh the show is gonna run from october 5th to through october 29th it's in downtown our district las vegas and um we will have our award ceremony in person guided by um amazing albert handel who will also do a demo on october 5th uh in person uh, right now, we're exploring recording opportunities, but it kind of takes away from in-person experience when you try to go online. So awards also will be online, uh, but for the demo, we're debating what we will do. But October 5th from 5 to 7, uh, there is in-person event in downtown Las Vegas, 
uh, following if you're planning to do maybe a longer weekend coming just pop into Vegas for a couple of days um, first Friday is a big art event kind of like art crawl walk in Las Vegas on October 6th so uh, we will be present for both events and our show will be running uh, through the month of October and more events and demos to follow so stay tuned emails usually is the way what we convey information and um, you will find us on social media as well but uh, check your email for all up-to-date updates maybe added to contact list so you wouldn't miss anything of importance and hope to see you in Las Vegas show gonna be beautiful and it's orange so you cannot even imagine like when you open folder uh, like everything is orange and when it's in person it's just glowing so room will be looking very beautiful and now uh, let me spotlight Tony Elaine he has something coming up himself in Scotland and also will share uh, with us how uh, we will be able to watch it um, online maybe how we can participate in his event online all to you, Tony. Well, surprise, surprise. I have. I've got an invitation. Lots of them, actually. This is, believe it or not, my first solo show for 12 years. I haven't had a solo show for 12 years. Um, and I've been working on this particular. It's called My Side of the Easel. And we're all invited. Look, there's even an invitation. You're all invited to come to the preview, the private viewing. Oh. But I mean, that's going to be difficult for some of you guys. But um, I've been working on this show now for the last 12 months because the gallery, um, the gallery that I'm showing in, uh, it's called the, the Gallery in Holt. Um, it's down in, actually, it's not in Scotland, it's down in England. It's it's uh, just to the east of London. And um, the gallery owner requested that I give him 75 paintings for this show, um, which is quite a mammoth task. And so that's what I've been doing for the last 12 months, apart from coming over to the US and running workshops and, and uh, digging the garden and doing the dishes and cooking and doing all the other bits and pieces that one does. I've been painting for this show and um, I'm not quite sure you can't see, but behind me, uh, I've got racks. It's just full up with all these finished paintings. Um, and so I will be down at the gallery for the whole week. It's on from the uh, 20th is the private view, 20th of October. And it's open to the public from the 21st to the 31st of October. And I'm going to be there every day. And I'm going to do a demo in the morning and a demo in the in the afternoon. Um, but the good news is, and I know you can't get there, or a lot of you can't get there, um, but I'll I'll do some videos and send them on, put, post them online so you can, uh, you can see what's going on live, or sort of live. Uh, but the show, uh, the show is uh, now live on the on their website, which is um, somewhere around here. It's called um, uh, thegalleryholt.com. Holt, H-O-L-T. That's pretty easy. So that's that's my little plug. End of plug. Um, I am coming over to the U.S next year next spring and i've got six seven workshops uh on the go they're on my website so if you're in the areas it's all down the west coast i'm on the southwest i'm up at dakota arts again i'm down in i'm doing a workshop with marla baguetta then i'm going to idaho cda and then down into california and then I'm at the Bluebird Studios in Santa Fe. Um, and then I'm at IAPS and I'm doing a few things at IAPS. Um, and after that, I'll be going home. So there we are. Anything else I need to say? 
No, and if uh, you cannot wait so long, stay tuned. We will have November event with Tony. So again, November. check, yeah, check your email. It will be going to uh, our early bird soon and to everybody mm -hmm. as well. So don't miss out November event on Zoom. Long time no see how we call it. Yeah, so that's Dasha and, and we're going to get together with everybody on November the 4th for, for a Zoom workshop. Yes. And yes, I've got yes, some yes. Um, new and exciting projects for you guys to paint. Um, and so there will be, it, I mean, I've been busy, a little busy little boy over the last 12 months here in the studio, um, but, you know, painting plein air for this exhibition and painting in the studio. And besides doing the all the other bits, but there's some exciting new projects that I want to introduce into my workshop schedules and programs. So and that will be like like a little pre Christmas treat for everybody in November the fourth. Isn't that fabulous? Yes, and it's not on the website yet. It will be soon, and you will be notified by email. So make sure you have Red Rock in your contact list. But today, Tony has something for us yes tony what do you have for us today uh to do with color light and changing the entire scene yeah well that's what's going to happen um let me just turn this around once more I'm, I'm the cameraman now as well so um you've you've seen the image there's the image it's on my tv screen um it's quite handy actually having a, a tv screen next to your your computer especially for for the you know the zoom workshops and uh and uh, these sort of programs. Um, so I've got the, um, there, look at that. I mean, it's all very nice and very pretty, but like I say, it's a little bit like a cover for a jigsaw puzzle or a biscuit tin. So we're gonna make it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my own story to this. I'm gonna jazz it up a wee bit. Um, and I'm going to make it a bit more dramatic. Um, so uh, let's just to get back to the easel. Um, hopefully, let me just tilt that down just a wee bit. I hope I'm oh, just a bit more. Hopefully, guys, you can all see the easel now. Um, and thanks for spotlighting it. This is going to end up being a 18 by 26 because that's the sort of size frame that I've got. You can see I've just drawn a, a line across. So. That's where it's going to be cut off. That I'm going to chop that away. Um, but if you're ready, I can start the demo. I think we are ready. Thank you, Tony. Oh. Please do. Okay, Joe. Okay. Um, now, um, I haven't got my microphone on. Hopefully you can hear it all because uh, my mic and my, my other Zoom setup is not working at the moment. <clears throat> but um, hopefully you can hear it all. Um, I've got my fancy new light over the easel um hopefully it's not too shiny on there but um let's see what we can do um that's not the the, the horizon line i want to put in just if i can find a pastel pencil what color uh, what a gray one that'll do I, I just need to find the eye line for the for the water i think that's important and for the um, and for the path um, on the screen, uh, the photograph on the screen is you know everything's in the middle and it's it's not really that pleasing. But I'm just going to scribe a line there. That just that's just like a that's my my starting point. That's my date and point. I guess. And you know it's going to be the usual. My usual uh, 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 the way of painting is I paint from dark to light, as you, you've probably heard it so many times. I paint from dark to light, and then I paint, uh, you know, from the, the thin paint up to the thicker paint at the end. So let's get going. So, um, um, and I'm squinting now, and I'm looking at the screen, and and, uh, and I'm thinking, okay, so this the darkest area is going to be uh, all the, this bunch of trees up here. Um, and there's the sort of there's the horizon line for the water, and then there's the sort of lane that comes down here with the dappled light, and there's a sort of a hedge there. So it sort of comes down, I guess, something like this. And then 
So I'm just using a bit of black charcoal pasta just to indicate those um, those dark areas, that foliage and that mass of trees. It's quite a nice um, sort of red, almost like a red maple. I'm not quite sure what it is there. So we'll, we'll have to put that in, I think. But I'm just going to block in, block in this mass here. Um, That sort of goes along there. And then, of course, where's my other little room? This is this little guy. This is quite handy. Uh, I just want to indicate where the, where the that water line is going to be. Excuse me. Okay. Now, I'm happy with that. Now, I'm just going to increase the pressure um, in these darks because. Um, the scene is going to go from this nice sunny day to um, a nice sort of uh, sunsetty type evening with lots of drama in the sky. So let's just get this going. Yeah. Not look too interesting at the moment, but we'll sort it out. Now I'm just going to put. I've got this nice sort of dark, sort of rusty, brownie ready colour. I'm just going to brush in those trees, uh, a bit of colour in those trees in in the distance. Yeah, that'll work. Now, what's the next thing? I think it's really important uh, at the moment. I'm painting on Pastel Premier, by the way. This is terracotta paper. Uh, I think it's important to get the sky in. Um, I think that's going to be... That's going to set the scene, because the sky will set the scene. Um, the rest of the painting. So... What about something a little bit dark and just gonna quickly brush in this, this sky color. Um, and I want to get this sort of dark clouds threatening clouds coming over here. Um, these various dark blue greys. Cross hatching with a sort of size brush, I call it a brush, a little bit of a little bit of feathering here and there. So um, now we get down to the tree line. Um, I'm not going to paint every single leaf. We haven't got time for that. Um, I'm just going to indicate basically where the few sky holes are. And then the rest of the sky done. I like that nice dark cloud. Let's put a bit more of that guy in there. Just to make it a little bit more dramatic. Um, I quite like the idea of bits of the terracotta paper showing through as well. 
just to give it that a bit of warmth in there in that sky. Now, watch what happens now. Now we've got a we've got a, a headland there, haven't we? We've got to, the distant headlands, so I think that's gonna have to be put in with a bit of um, um well this colour, this is um Mount Vision thunderstorm set, my favourite. And that sort of goes back there. What it could do with being a bit darker, or a bit darker down at the base there. So where's the other thunderstorm? Oh, this one here, I think, this one. Yeah. On the base of that hill. There, that's enough. Now, let's get a bit of colour going in the sky. Uh, I think because it's... um. Uh, this time of day, we need to put in some of this colour. Where is it? Over here. This one or this one? Oh, that's this one, I think. It's pink. Another darker pink. Oh, that's a better one. That's better. Get this um, sort of low sort of sun strip of uh, sunset just in there. Now let's get back to this sky. Yeah, and now that on the head, just above the, the hill, we'll put some more sky down there. Again, and sort of get that sky working. Come back and see what we've done. Okay, now that um, that tree that I mentioned, this this sort of red maple. Let's let's put in a little bit of that. Now the next thing is the um, is the bank of the grass. So um, we've got we've got some it's a bit brighter. I want 
something a little bit darker. Don't we? Um, actually, I'm just going to put in where this lane cracks are like that. And then I sort of go down there and then a bit more of that dark. I've got this big shadow that shoots across there. Um, there's a bit of shadow there. A bit of shadow, big, deep shadow across it, the front of this this lane here, this track. Stand back and see what we've done. Well, that's okay. Um, now it's quite dark down in here, we're going to work out where this the edge of this um, path is and then it falls away to, to that water or the beach, sort of a beach. There's a bit of greenery. There's a bit of green right here as well. Um, a bit more green, I think, just a little hint of it along there, isn't it? on the edge of that part. Um, now we've got some. Uh, some other colours which this one might work I think and the light is catching some of these grasses this dappled light and then Yeah. Right now the water, I, I think, um, what color am I going to do the water? I think it's going to be a, like a blue violet, isn't it? With a little bit of turquoise in it, maybe. Um, on the other side of the room at the moment, trying to find trying to find the right colour. But I think it could be 
something like this. Possibly. Um, now I've got a tripod in my way because I'm right handed and I need to get this side. So just bear with me just a moment because I need to, I need to get this water going. Um, yeah, that's the first bit. But of course, the other thing is, is that there's a little bit of sky reflection in the water as well. So I'm just going to put in a darker area there. That bit of water. I stand back. Now, some bright greens going on. Um, I don't want to do too much, do I? I don't want to overcook it. I'm sort of looking at the photograph anyway on this TV screen just to give me an idea of um, This it's a light of this lime sort of green grass where it's been picked up. Um, a bit in there. Um, that, I think. Uh, now, there's a few trees. I want to get those, some of those trees in. So what colour am I going to use for the tree trunks? Um, what about a bit of... Um, a bit of pink, maybe that might work. Um, this this sort of tree here. So and this is this a copper beech or whatever it is. Actually, they could do with some more orange in there. Couldn't they? I think just a little hint of orange, just where it's the light is catching it. trunks. There's also this big tree here. I mean it's it, it goes way up in the, into the sky but I don't want to put that one in. I really don't want to put that one in. Well we'll put a little bit of it in I guess. I'll just put a hint of green up in there. Where's my greens? Yeah, maybe just a green right down there. Now, a bit of lighter. I think this. Look at this lovely pink. I think we need to get this bit of pink in here. That bit of pink goes in there, I think. 
<clears throat> and uh, I think we need some water, some pink in the water, uh, but not too, we don't want to go too mad, I think. So I'm just going to put that across there. Um, oh, sorry, I'm in the way. I know I'm in the way, but I just need to get that. Maybe just a few. A few spots of water there. And um, what else have we got? Well, all this grass is in the foreground, I think, need to go in. So what colour am I going to use for that? Uh, over this box, I think it's going to be maybe a bit of this. Again, this is more. I'll let you fill in the detail that, that I'm leaving out. Uh, and some other greens. The green, which is this one. And sort of a edge along there, a bank. I think it might be a green. Oh. And then finally, I think the last thing we need to think about doing is. Um, Let's just put a little bit more pink in the sky. It's the lighter one as well. Just a little touch of it here and there. Now, now the dappled light on the path. And I think it could be this one. Sort of goes and this that dark. Is it this one? Yeah. is almost level with with the borderline up there. Let's stand back and see what I've done. Oh, I need to put some more darks in there, I think, because We need to put that dark. There. Okay, there's that dark area there. There's a sort of a stone and rock in the water. Let's feather that out. Um, now, there. 
That'll do. Finished. Beautiful. Guys, you can yeah. unmute yourself. So really, it's just taking, you know, I'm just pushing the color just a wee bit, uh, putting my own little story there. Um, let's have a little bit more grass just to finish off there. There's something just lacking. Something like that. Um, and then there's a nice piece of grass just in the back there. Okay, finished. Our chat is uh, blowing up. Beautiful, stunning. Uh, thank you. So beautiful. Much more interesting than the photo. Totally agree. Wow. Let me love just... the marks. So, yeah, let me get the camera in front of it. There. Thumbs up. Well, sir. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Somebody said, well, sir. That's nice. Um, but, uh, yeah. you know, it doesn't take long. It didn't take long at all. Um, um, but it was it's just putting in that, that uh, you know, putting the mood in, changing that. It, it was the dappled light that interested me. You know, that really bright dappled light on the pathway. And... Um, I think oh I think it's important. Oh, look, I can just see a few I can just see one or two faults that should that shouldn't be there. Like there should be a, a bigger shadow, that's more like it, because that hedge is producing a shadow there. Yeah. Remember, don't fiddle with it. Okay, guys. And again, guys, thank you so much for joining us this Saturday uh, to see Tony on Zoom. Stay tuned for our email updates. We will have announcements soon about his next Zoom workshop. He will be touring US in the uh, beginning of 2024, leading to IFs. Um, I'm sure if you're following him on Facebook, um, you will be up to date on all those updates. If you like and can travel to to England, thank you for correcting me. The whole gallery will be hosting his show uh it's a uh, 75 pieces uh solo show for tony allen in england but also you can see online at the whole gallery and um, if you're willing to travel to las vegas you all invited to see our orange exhibition uh what coming up to priscilla favler gallery um i'm trying to share poster but somehow it's fighting uh with me i'm sharing still uh tony's image right that's what you see right now okay well i will share it in a second again so i hope you can make it to las vegas and it will be also on our website starting october 5th uh, including pieces by Tony Allen, Albert Handel, Linda Wells, and other amazing artists. Uh, some, some of you will be able to come see it in person, and for everybody else, it will be online. But as you know, art is always more precious in person, especially such a delicate medium as a pastel.
and on the opening we will have Albert Handel to do a demo for our group so that will be super exciting and award ceremonies let me um thank you again all for joining us hope you will stay tuned to our updates and uh, see you soon on zoom and in person let's say thank you to tony thank, thank you tony you. thank you thank you Tony. thank you for watching thank you, <laughs> thank you. Oh, good afternoon see you. Thank you, see, you, see you guys in the spring of next year. <laughs> see you at, in November. Thank you, Tony. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. It's been fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. I shall see you shortly. I'm going to go and have my supper now. It's, Dinner time. it's five minutes to seven. <laughs> it's